Okay, so here we're gonna show you how to replace motor Bafang uh, on Volt Bike Mariner or Volt Bike Yukon 750. So now we are uh, going to unscrew the bolts which holds uh, the top metal lid on the bike. So currently that that uh, one is empty because we took it out already but we're gonna show you how to put it back so this is uh, the new motor it comes with uh, uh, gears uh, and everything so you push it inside we're gonna put the uh, the plastic lid pack on the on position so we make sure it's a uh, it's tight and we put all the screws back in Make sure all the screws are tight. Okay, so after that we gonna proceed with putting the gears. Yeah, before we put the gears we put that metal ring in place and then we install gears back so this is the tool you need to uh, to tighten up the gears so that's how you make sure it is uh, it is tight so the gears are in so now we're gonna proceed with installing the tire on the bicycle itself so here is uh, the hardware you need uh, in order to install the wheel back uh, so that's a nut which you have to put first on the axle on the side of the the disc brake yeah so uh, no need to tighten it like that is more than enough okay so what is that so that's uh, the washer so we put that two of these yeah so we have two more uh, washers and spacers so we put those on the side of the gears on the side of the gears we have this washer a tiny one a tiny one so we put it like that okay so now we we're gonna put uh, the wheel back on the frame on the volt bike mariner so that's how you put it back yes so you make sure it uh, it is going into the socket Okay, so on that side it works like that. On the other side, uh, that's how the washers and spacers uh, are uh, positioned. So that's the bike. So now we put the remaining, so that's uh, the walking. Uh, uh, nut which prevents uh, the motor to spin inside uh, the dropout so you put few others
so here is uh, the other side you put again a walking uh, nut yes so, and so that one is also so you put the remaining you tighten up uh, you need wrench number 18 okay it's actually 18 millimeters not number 18 so that's the other side you make sure it's uh, tight too So this is how you connect the power cable. You put first uh, the plastic uh, cover, which protects uh, the power cable. So you make sure it is uh, inserted. Yeah, so the next step is uh, you plug uh, the quick connector, making sure the arrows uh, match uh, each other. You also make sure that the cable is fully inserted because sometimes uh, it is loose and it's not making connection. This is the plastic uh, uh, hinge which is uh, to secure the cable to the frame. Okay, so after you're done, the bike is gonna work like that. The wheel is uh, properly installed, the power connector is uh, plugged in, the washers are in place. On the other side, uh, it works uh, like that.